The world is full of contradiction and confusion, and our policy seems to have lost the black and white clarity of simpler times when we remembered the main and went to war. It is little wonder then, in this confusion, we look back to the old days with nostalgia. It is little wonder that there is a desire in the country to go back to the time when our nation lived alone. It is little wonder that we increasingly want an end to entangling alliances, an end to helping all foreign countries, a cessation of diplomatic relations with countries whose states or principles we dislike, that we get the United Nations out of the United States and the United States out of the United Nations, and that we retreat to our own hemisphere or even within our own boundaries to take refuge behind a wall of force. This is an understandable effort to recover an old feeling of simplicity. Yet in world affairs, as in all other aspects of our lives, the days of the quiet past are gone forever. Science and technology are irreversible. We cannot return to the day of the sailing schooner or the covered wagon, even if we wished. And if this nation is to survive and succeed in the real world of today, we must acknowledge the realities of the world, and it is those realities that I mention now. We must first of all recognize that we cannot remake the world simply by our own command. When we cannot even bring all of our own people into full citizenship without acts of violence, we can understand how much harder it is to control events beyond our borders. Every nation has its own traditions, its own values, its own aspirations. Our assistance from time to time can help other nations preserve their independence and advance their growth, but we cannot remake them in our own image. We cannot enact their laws nor can we operate their governments or dictate our policy.